caravanning, we've been over t uh, 10 or well, 15 years nearly caravanning out. Two and a half years we've had it in loop. Yeah. Oh, it was just uh, workmanship that was going into it and that, and to see, as again, as I say, I'm from a te technical trades background, and to see the pride that the people that were building it um, put into it was said a hell of a lot. You know, it was that sort of thing that um, sold it more than a salesman. And I was yeah. very happy with the layout. I love the full size lounge that makes into a double bed. Mm. And I love um, where the, the stove sits just at my height. Mm. And, um, and just heaps of things I really yeah. liked about it. Yeah. And we have um, purple inserts in our, in our doors and we have a red leather lounge. Mm. And it looks really lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Get a lot of comments on that yeah. one. <laughs> People walk past the door because the layout is you look into the door and next thing they're knocking on the door and saying, can we have a look in this caravan please? <laughs> and I say, well, the bed's not made. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I bake pretty much every week in the caravan, sometimes more. Hmm. I bake a lot at home and um, I think, well, if you've got, a, got an oven in your caravan, it feels more like you're at home because you're doing homework things. Uh, just about everywhere. We've been up right up the top of Cape Jewel. Uh, been um, up Boonadat along the track there. We give it a, twice, that was a fair it? twice with the van now up on that track. Right and and as as it good, very good. Um, yeah, you've still got to drive. It's not a small van, is it? No, it's the same size as the van behind us here, the 24 footer. So yeah, we um, handles it very well. You've still got to drive to the conditions, like. If you want to go at 100 kilometres an hour, you're going to end up breaking things. But if you, you know, sit at you know, 40 or drive to the conditions, 40 or 50 kilometres an hour, you won't do any damage, and you'll get there at the other end. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. we travel through the Pindan, which is red, red dust and dirt. Yeah. And um, in all the all the time we've been yeah. travelling there, I have never yeah. had to wipe anything off the ceiling. Yeah. And no, no colouring, no, no discolouring, no nothing, and it is white all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. And we haven't done the full Gibb, Gibb River Road, but we've done part of it <coughs> in the van. You know, like that's normally the test of caravans along the Gibb we, River Road. Yeah. And we've done, done Lawn Hill in, um, in Queensland. That yeah. was quite a bit of dirt on that. And also yep. down to um, where the horse races have done. Which the Birdsville. Oh, Birdsville, right been out Birdsville yeah. as well. Yeah. Not, yeah. Didn't see the races though. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we do a fair bit of off roading. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we've spoken to other people out there with elite vans along the road and they've, the support they've had uh, from uh, the boy Peter and the boys at the factory have been um, Jared, have yeah. Fly yeah, yeah, even like we heard of one where they uh, flew Jared, the electrician, all the way to the Gold Coast or somewhere to fix a problem with a, a van, so you can't ask for any more than that. But the people that have got them, like when we talk to them, everyone seems to say, how good they are and how happy they are. Yeah. Oh, well, we're heading back towards the west now. Now, where we end up over there, who knows? But um, we're finding more and more out of the way, off the track places. Um, you know, we want to get up the back of um, Kalgoorlie, Menzies, up to Sandstone, up in that area. Um, again, you're still on Bitumen Road, but it's still. Uh, you're out there in the back blocks and that. And then yeah. we went to Injama Gorge and that's, that was dirt all the way as well. Yeah. Which was really yeah. interesting. Yeah. So we're trying to do more and more of the national parks and that, yeah. <music> well, we've had this one for two and a half years and that, and we've had no real problems with it. Um, you know, we've had a couple of minor problems, but as I said, the factory have looked after us there. Uh, and we're now just in the stage where we want to you know, another 12 months we'll need a, you know, because we'll want a new van because we're living in it full time and we just feel time for a changeover. Well, at the moment it's in uh, where where be, but we're only there for the week and then we'll be back on the road to somewhere else, who knows? We'll make a decision next that morning. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll head back, head up north for the winter as per usual, yeah. But we can see there's been some really good... Uh, changes made to them in the two and a half years. Again, you know, like they're talking now about a fuel cell that, um, you know, to uh, back up your, your, your solar 
supply and that and he's even got a real good um, uh, generator in one of the vans that could be uh, well worthwhile looking at incorporating too. A lot of times we're heading down a road you might have heard about a name and you'll see it on a sign post and you say yeah let's go and have a look and sometimes you might get down there and you spend a fortnight. I just get in the car and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> The family yeah. don't like it very much. They say, when are you going on the road again? And I said, well, I don't know. Well, you shouldn't ask. Well, I don't. <laughs> mm. yeah, don't make any plans when you're out there. Don't make any plans because you, you'll throw the plan out the window real quick. <laughs> we did that the first time we, we went um, around and we didn't stick to any of the plan whatsoever. So plan, why bother? Plan lasted about a week at the most. <laughs>